when it went public that I was uh, released, um, I got a phone call from Dixie Carter and Jeff Jarrett, and um, they asked if they could fly up to meet with me, so um, they did. So this was probably a week after I got released. Okay. Um, and uh, we, we worked out a deal and got it done like that day. It was wow. really quick. I'd say it took us 15 minutes. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I felt badly, too, because I told Vince McMahon the week prior that I'd be back in six months. So, you know, I, I, I went after it because it was a reduced schedule. The money was, from a guarantee standpoint, just as good. Yeah. Uh, so I knew I was guaranteed that money, and I knew I would wrestle a lot less. Yeah. And I, it just was more appetizing to me at that point. But this was around the same time when UFC was reaching out to you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, had things happened in reverse order, maybe you would have been in an octagon. Yeah, you know, uh, but, but I also knew in the back of my mind, um, once I broke my neck uh, the second time, the first was in the Olympics in 96, or before the Olympics in 96. Yeah. The second one was in 2003, and when that occurred... Um, I lost a lot of strength in my upper body. Um, I was having, uh, um, I guess, uh, uh, circulation problems from my neck going down my arms. Oh, I couldn't wow. feel my hands. I uh, lost a lot of strength in my arms. I could only bench at the time 135 pounds. Wow. Um, so for me to go in the octagon after all that trauma, um, it wasn't, I don't think I could have done it. Uh, unfortunately, if it, before the broken neck, I would have said, "Hell yeah, it'd been great. I'd have had a great run. I probably would have won the uh, world title." You <laughs> never know. You never know. But um, I, I, it was more appetizing to me than pro wrestling. Of course, you would have won the title. Um, <laughs> There's nothing you, you, anything you set your mind on, you accomplish. I appreciate that, but it's not an easy sport, and there's some badasses out there. Uh, but you know, whether I did or not. Um, I knew I knew in the back of my mind I couldn't do it, and uh, and Dana White gave me a great offer. I thank you, Dana. He's been really good to me. I've reached out to him a def- couple of different times, and he was willing to talk to me and you know give me two separate deals, two separate times. And wow! I backed out, and and it, it was it was you know I just knew I couldn't do it, and I knew if I did it, I'd probably embarrass myself, and I I didn't want to get to that point in my career, so I decided just to wrestle. Because Dana wanted me to quit pro wrestling. He, I said, I just signed with TNA, and yeah. he said, well, you have to quit that too. And I was like, can't quit, I just signed with him, and you know, so it didn't work out. Would you, you think you would have fought as light heavyweight, 205? Yeah, I would have been yeah. a light heavyweight. I, I, I would have fought in the heavyweight division too. I, <clears throat> um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I always paired well against bigger guys. Uh, I don't know if you remember when uh, Randy Couture beat the one guy who's seven foot tall. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, look at can't remember things. his name, but Randy also was really good at that. He always worked with guys bigger, heavyweights. Yeah, yeah. And me too, so... I, I wouldn't have minded going in there with anybody that was 280. It's fine. Maybe if UFC was you know as popular as it is now, when you came off the Olympics, well, you, you probably wouldn't that, have had a WWE run at all. That, that's what I tell people. I um, you know, if, uh, I got offered in '96. UFC offered me, but they offered me a 10 fight deal for 150 grand. That's 15 grand a fight. Right. That's not worth it. Especially I mean, when you're a name. Yeah. 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 So um, I, I, I had to pass on it. And I'd say about six, seven years later, it just exploded. And it's because of Dana White, he did a tremendous thing by reigniting the company. But, um, yeah, I, I, I knew if I would have done it right at the Olympics, you know, I probably wouldn't be in pro wrestling. I mean, I, I was an amateur wrestler in high school and into college as well. And I, I know that you weren't supposed to watch pro wrestling because that right, was the right. quote unquote fake stuff. What was your first introduction to pro wrestling? Well, I, I started watching it before I... WWE contacted me in 96. I turned down that offer. In 1998, late in the year, I just started uh, watching it. I turned okay. it on every week and, uh, you know, watching The Rock and Stone Cold and Triple H, Undertaker, those guys. But my biggest inspiration was Austin. Um, uh, I really enjoyed watching him perform. Um these guys were really good athletes. I, I, I never watched it before, so I'm watching them perform these stunts and going, wow, man, these guys are serious, you know, world-class yeah, athletes. Yeah. So 
I called WLB and said, can I get that contract still? And they said, no, but you can try out. So that was like a guaranteed contract they originally yeah. offered you. Yeah, it was a 10-year deal, yeah. <laughs> so I turned it down, and they didn't <laughs> offer me it again. 